Of grade 8, we will be doing the accounting equation, activity 2, which is on page 48 and page 49 of your um, booklets, accounting booklets. And you will see the accounting equation here, assets is equal to owner's equity plus liabilities. And as stated before, liabilities we'll only do a bit later. So you'll have some um, asset accounts and some owner's equity accounts that you will find within your question. All right, so for the first transaction, number one, Pete started his own plumbing business called Smart Plumbing Systems with 30,000 Rand, which he deposited directly into the bank account of the business. All right, so the one account is bank. He received money within the bank account. Okay, so bank increases. The one account is bank, and the other account is capital because he put money into the business. All right, so take a look at the answer plus 30,000 Rand under assets, that is the bank part, cash increase, and then capital is owner's equity, so it's plus 30,000 Rand, and your reason will be capital contribution. So you will see these different ways in which this accounting equation is asked, and this specific one um, gives you these columns. So you will, in, in exam time, you will get the specific answer sheet to know how you need to answer this. So if it says effect and reason, the effect will be the, the plus or minus and then a specific amount as well. And the reason will be uh, it was a capital contribution or the cash or bank increased. Okay, so that was number one. Number two, purchased his own plumbing business called, uh, sorry, purchased a variety of plumbing equipment for 5,900 and consumables, um, 1,000 Rand from HO2, H2O supplies and paid by check, 6,900. All right, so what is the effect on the cash? What did he pay out from the bank? And that's 6,900. Bank is an asset. So if we take a look here, we'll see that minus 6,900 cash decrease or bank decrease, whichever one you want to write down. Then... He purchased equipment of 5,900, so it must be plus 5,900 for equipment because equipment is also an asset and the equipment increases. Okay, and then consumables is an expense and that is owner's equity, so it's minus 1,000 Rand under owner's equity. Right, if you look at the left hand side and the right hand side, remember there must be equal sign in the middle, or well, there is one. And if you take the net effect of these two, you will get minus 1,000 Rand and minus 1,000 Rand is equal to minus 1,000 Rand on the right hand side. Okay, so that was number number two. Number three, paid 5,500 to Waterfield agents for the rent of a premise for February. So if you are paying, it can't be rent income that you are paying, it must be rent or oh, so rent expense it must be a rent expense because you are paying so it can't be a rent income so also ask yourself is it rent income or rent expense so if you are paying it's rent expense okay so 5500 number three your cash or bank decreases and then minus 5500 5, and you would call it rent expense, which is already owner's equity. So you don't have to put next to it owner's equity because it already shows you its owner's equity by writing it in the correct column. So I'm testing that. Okay, so that was number three. Number four, provided plumbing services and received 4,400 from a customers, from a customer. All right. So I'm receiving money, so the bank increases with 4,400, and it's plumbing services. Now, if you render any service, it will be called current income. All right, so let's look, take a look at the answer. Plus 4,400 cash increases and plus 4,400 current income. So current income, and income is an owner's equity account, so we will put it under owner's equity Plus 4,400 is definitely equal to plus 4,400. Number five, sublet a part of the premises for parking to Taxi Dave received 700 Rand. Okay, so 
plus 700 rand in the bank, number 5. So your cash increases here with 700 rand. And you're renting the premises out, so it's plus 700 rand under rent income, or you write rent income, and it's owner's equity. Rent income, income is a owner's equity account, so that was number 5. Alright, number 6, paid wages, 1,800. So your bank decreases with 1,800, and what did you buy? You bought wages, or you paid for wages, sorry. So number six, cash decreases with 1,800 and your owner's equity also decreases with 1,800 rand because when you're paying out money, the money of the business, the owner's equity, decreases. That's why with the previous one, the owner's equity increases because the rent income makes the money of the business more, the same with current income. And then the rent expense the, was number three, and that decreases again the owner's equity because you're paying money out. Number seven, purchased a truck from reliable cars, 150,000 rand. Okay, so your bank decreases, but a truck is under vehicles, that's also an asset. Now I write here two lines. Why do I write two lines? Because both are assets, so you're going to need two lines to be able to put it underneath each other. Or you can put it small in one line, depending on how small you write. Right, so 150,000 Rand, number 7. So your cash decreases with 150,000 and your vehicles also increases with 150,000 Rand. The net effect of these two is zero. And that is equal to zero on the right hand side as well. Paid PA for paper, invoice books, and pens 230. Okay, bank decreases with 230. And what are invoice books, paper, and pens? Stationary. So let's look at the answer for number eight. Okay, so your cash decreases with 230. And your owner's equity, the money of the business, also decreases with 230 Rand. 230 rand because stationery is an expense. That was number eight. Number nine, withdrew three and a half thousand rand from the business account. One thousand eight hundred rand of this one three and a half thousand rand was for the business telephone account. Okay, so that's a business expense. The remainder was for the owner's telephone account. Okay, now if it's for the owner's telephone account, what? Whatever the expense or thing would be, it will always be drawings because it's for the owner itself. We're trying to separate the, the, the business expenses from the owner's expenses, which is not part of the business. And whatever we pay out there will be called drawings. Okay, so it's 3,500 rand that we withdrew. 1,800 rand of that was a business telephone expense. The remainder 1,700 would be joints. So let's look at the answer. Okay, just want to move it's down a bit. All right, so okay, if you look at um, that one there, number nine. Okay, so your cash decreases with the full amount. Now. The previous example that we had, um, the the cash decreased and some some of the money, um, I think it was, let's look at which one it was now, uh, over here, number two. There was some of it was equipment and some of it was um, owner's equity. In this case, all right, both the things that we are showing under owner's equity remember this is the owner's equity columns um, the one is drawings that is the personal use and the telephone expense was for the business but the cash decreased with the full amount three and a half thousand rand so minus three and a half thousand rand on the left is equal to minus three and a half thousand rand on the right hand side so that is equal so that's correct okay the last one Received 1,600 Rand from a family member as a donation to the business. Okay, I received money, 
So bank increases with that and it is a donation. So will it be a donation income or expense? If you're receiving money, it will definitely be an income. So let's look at the final part. So um, yes, the number 10 plus 1,600 cash increases and plus 1,600 donation income is the reason that the owner's equity of the business also increased.